Hello again. So you've completed the first activity. Good work. The example paragraph in that activity was a starting point in a little journey we're taking in this module into the concepts of clarity, cohesion, and coherence. The videos and activities here will also illustrate some tips and strategies that can help you develop these features of your writing. Before we go on, just a quick point regarding the last activity. Amongst the weaknesses that we identified in the example paragraph, the most important point has to do with the sentence that was not a sentence. This is not a sentence because it is incomplete. It's like a thought that needs to go on. Remember that a sentence needs three fundamental elements in order to be a sentence. And one of these elements is that it needs to be a complete thought. This is the most important point we'd like you to keep in mind for now. A sentence is a complete thought. This is important because it relates to the concept of clarity. If we communicate in unfinished thoughts, then things are not very clear, are they? So let's make sure we understand the three concepts that this module focuses on. First, clarity. This happens on sentence structure level, on the small scale. Imagine a sentence as a brick. It needs to be solid, not brittle so that you can connect more bricks together to make larger structures. And this is where cohesion comes in. Cohesion means that the sentences are sticking together, that they are connected and related. So now we're on the middle scale. We're connecting some well-made bricks. Finally, on the large scale, we have coherence, which is essentially logic, idea development within a paragraph, and succession of ideas between paragraphs. So this is how meaning is achieved. It happens on the three levels simultaneously. Sentence structure level, that's clarity. Connecting and relating sentences, that's cohesion. And logical idea development, that's coherence. Okay, let's stay a little bit longer on the sentence structure level. Go to the next activity.